Hello YouTube, this is PSP Hacker AOD and recently I unlocked and jailbroke my iPhone and today I have two iPod touches with me which I will be jailbreaking and all that good stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna put this one off for now because this one needs a password. I need to call someone up and get that. And uh this one right here I will be doing first. Alright, so I'm gonna cut it right here and get it ready. Alright, well, I tried to put it into the recovery mode by holding the power switch up top and the home button, but uh, it just restarted it. I guess the iPod Touch won't go into recovery mode that easily. But um, anyway, I am going to downgrade the firmware, so you're going to want to hold the shift key on your keyboard. Uh, let me hold the camera like this, and then you're going to want to click the restore button. And pop up with this thing here. Now I have two different firmwares here you'll see. An iPhone one and an iPod one. The iPod one is the one you really want to use. Don't use the iPhone one or you get you might um end up breaking your iPod touch. Alright. So um it's extracting the software. And this is the one point one whatever because I'm downgrading it so yeah. There it goes, popped up on the screen. Apple preparing, and when this finishes, you're probably going to have an error because it's downgrading, but pay no attention to the error, it doesn't matter. So it has a little thing out there. Preparing, and I'm going to cut right here. Okay, I didn't get an error message, so yeah. Usually you'll get an error message. Oh, never mind, I got this thing here. And yeah, so you need to kick it out of that mode unless it's gonna do it on its own. Um, yeah, it went out on its own. Okay, so now we're gonna slide to unlock it, and we're gonna go to settings, and I'm gonna add a Wi Fi to it, and waiting on uh, my network. Uh, yeah. Okay, settings, home. Okay, we're gonna go to Safari. Done. Okay, we're gonna go to jail break me dot com. Go. Okay, scroll down to the bottom and you'll want to see install app snap. Click that. And there you go, it's installing. Extracting program, okay, programs, whatever. Patching to exploit, fixing permissions. Alright, slide to unlock. There you go, now we have the installer.app. We're going to click the installer.app. And we're going to wait for it to refresh sources. Okay. Finished, we're gonna do donate later. There's an update apparently, community sources. We're gonna wanna update that. Okay, cleaning up. Freshing sources again. <coughs> Alright. Very slow. <laughs> Alright, any day now. There it goes. Alright, we're going to go to install. I think it's under... Um, here it is. 1.1 tweaks. Or 1.1.1 or whatever. Um, we're going to go to OK to prep. As you can see, package name, OK to prep. Click install. Install. And then you're going to get a message. You are now ready to perform an update. Okay, good. Click OK, let it clean up. Click the home button. Let it refresh. Okay, we'll leave it on there. Okay, it's on this screen. I gotta name it. Okay. Do not automatically sync stuff. 
it's not my iPod. Oh wait, cancel. Okay. Now we're going to click uh, update and check for update. Okay, I already have it downloaded, so it's just extracting, but uh, for most of you it'll go to a downloading page and it'll take forever to download, but I've done this before, so I already have the update downloaded. And then you're just going to let it update. Preparing to update software. Well, Apple logo came up. Really thing again, and there it goes. I'm going to cut here, and when I zoom, we'll jailbreak it again. Okay, now it has finished updating, and I'll close off this window. And it's going to reboot. You're going to want to close iTunes off. And then, um, oh, no, wrong folder. That's pictures. Uh, here you go. Okay. And as you can see on here, the installer.app's gone again. But I just updated it. So we're going to turn this thing back into sleep mode. iTunes pop back up. Close that. You're going to want the jailbreak app. The yeah, anyway, you extract it to a folder, and then you're going to run it. It should pop up like this. And then it'll ask you what you want to do. Jailbreak. And then a little jailbreaking. And then um, you just let that finish off. Take a couple minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. And, yeah. So let that run through, and I'll cut here and resume in a minute. Alright, now that it is finished, this message is going to pop up, and iTunes apparently opened again. So I'll close that again. Okay. Done. Your device will automatically reboot a couple times. Okay. And then that should close off. You know, no longer need that up. And then, huh, there we go. It's back to default. iPhone. And, oh, it's not there. Okay. Oh, it's still rebooting. Okay. Let that finish rebooting, I guess. Gotta send a text really quick. Okay, there it goes. Slide down lock. There it goes. It's done. There's the installer. Yeah. Oh, sync and process. Stupid iTunes once again. Anyway, no longer needs to be plugged in because it's done, so I won't plug it. And now you have the installer.app on here, and pretty much do whatever from there. And now it's jailbroken and all that good stuff, so install some stuff. Yeah. Audio amp, awesome. Okay, install. And that concludes this video.